nah, nah. I just got the craziest revelation while I'm Bible studying and I know this is about to change somebody's whole life and the Holy Spirit told me to move on it, so I'm sharing it. What if that dark place that you're in right now, thinking you've been buried to suffocate, is actually God planting you there as a seed in preparation for your blossoming season that's coming. <laughs> I know what you've been going through. I know you've been feeling like they done threw you in the pit. Life done threw you in the pit and it's been taking a shovel and just piling the dirt up on top of you, piling the problems on top of you. You feel like you've been just caving in under all of the stresses of life whatever it may be. I don't know if it's finances not being where, where, where you want them to be. I don't know if it's that relationship that, that's went bad. I don't know if it's people mistreating you. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you've been struggling with sin and you feel like you're just drowning in it. You're feeling like you're abusing God's grace. I don't know what it is, but you feel like you've been getting buried and suffocated. And you've been failing to have faith in this season, not even understanding that God is just planting your seed in the midst of all this going on to build you in preparation for your blossoming that is on the way. You know, one thing about plants is that they always start with the seed. When you see those beautiful, tall sunflowers, when you see those roses, when you see those trees, they all had started as a seed and they started compacted under a bunch of pressure, under a bunch of dirt, but through the process of watering, through the process of light, they, they took root. And when they took root, they sprouted. And I'm here to let you know that God is in everything. In the same way he works with plants, that's how he grows his children. Stay with me. God has been planting you in the midst of everything that's going on right now. And you have been losing sight of him. You've been losing sight of God. And you just been thinking you drown and you've been thinking you getting buried and suffocated when the whole time God is just getting you prepared to take your roots. Right now, in the midst of your dirt, you are supposed to be taking root in God. You don't know what you're going to look like when you blossom yet. You don't know what the sprouting looks like, but you got to have faith that God is going to get you there. And the faith is where you take your roots so that by the world, you can't just get plucked and pulled out because the roots set the foundation. And when you set those roots, when your seed first sets its roots, that's when you begin to build up. But first, the roots must come. You got to listen to me right now. I know that you've been going through it. I know you had them days where nothing makes sense at all. But you got to have faith in God. You're not being buried. Your seed is being planted. And how you water your seed is by having faith in God's love and in his light. God brings the light. God brings the sunshine. God brings the water. God brings the hydration to the spirit. God says a crushed spirit dries up the bones. So imagine what a lifted spirit does. Mm. You know, another beautiful thing about plants, they have their seasons. So right now you're in that season where, where nobody sees you sprouting. Nobody really sees you blossoming at your full potential. But that's okay because God is working in the unseen. Hope that is seen is no hope at all. Faith that is seen is no faith at all. God is working even when you can't see it. Right now, your roots are being laid. Right now, the grooves in the dirt, they're being made. But you're so focused on feeling like you're suffocating, feeling like you don't see the sunshine. But I'm telling you right now that God is using the very things that you think are suffocating you right now to help build you and blossom you in preparation for your sprouting and your blossoming season. Plants, they always have those seasons where they're not ready yet. But in their blossoming season, they become fruitful. And you are going to be the same way. You're not going through this stuff just to go through it. God is growing you. You got to stop being of so little faith. I, I just thought this was so beautiful. Romans 8.18 I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Man, if I showed you a plant, a, a rose, for example, when the seed was in the dirt, you would have no idea what that thing was going to blossom into. But oh boy, if you just waited, if you just waited on the process of the watering of it and the sunshine of it and the blossoming season of it, you would see something so beautiful that brought others so much joy and that brought others so much happiness. I don't even know, the Holy Spirit just brought that to me right now. Think about it. Those roses that people give to their girl on Valentine's Day, 
those roses that people give to their mom, to all these people that just brighten up and lighten the mood and make people feel so good. And once they were just the seed and some dirt. God right now is using you. You feel like you're just a seed and some dirt that he's forgotten about, that he's forsaken. Whole time he's building you up so that you can be a blessing to others. Oh my goodness, I gotta walk that off. I gotta walk that off. I gotta walk that off. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You listen to me right now. You are not being suffocated and buried. You are being planted in the name of Jesus. Woo! Praise the Lord. Oh, I just had to share that revelation with somebody understand that right now make sure you send this to a friend or to a family member that needs to know because we be going through so much in life and we be of so little faith man you gotta lock in with god right now you cannot take root in the ground when you aren't having faith in god because do you know what's going do you know what goes on when you don't rely on god's watering and on his sunlight you fall victim to pesticides you fall victim to insects coming to eat at your roots eat at your seed but God, having faith in God, following his direction, that keeps you strengthened away from the pesticides and away from the insects coming to pull away from you and take away your nutrients. What I'm saying right now is that you got to focus on God even when it doesn't make sense. You got to have that faith in God that it's going to all work out for your good, Romans 8, 28, even when nothing makes sense. And if you just do that, if you just keep following God, even though you're not seeing the results right now, you just keep following him. You keep trusting him. You keep obeying him. When you fall short, you get back up and you seek him harder. If you keep doing that, you are going to sprout into something more beautiful than anybody could have imagined. And I just got a question for you. Are you in or are you out? Because most people, they're not going to do that. Most people are going to give in to their sins. Most people are going to give in to the world. But for them real children of God that love God, that really got faith in him, you are going to sprout into something nobody ever saw coming. You got a, ooh, you got a story. You got a story. And it ain't even done being written yet. Mm, 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 mm. You better have some faith in that today. I love y'all, but Jesus loves you more. Peace.